What's up everybody, this is Tyler here with Savvy Hut Tutorials. Today we'll be talking about the side chain effect and how to apply it to different instruments. Without further ado, I will go ahead and play the final product. Alright, let's get this tutorial started. Starting completely from scratch, the first thing we will do is add four simple kicks. Two, three, four. Make sure you're on pattern one, and let's go ahead and add that to track two here on the playlist. Left click, hold it down, drag it across. The next thing we'll do is go up here into the channel section, left click, hover over add one, and go down to 3x OSC. Left click on that. Now it'll open up our channel settings options for the 3x OSC instrument. Let's hear what that sounds like by hitting Q on our keyboard. Alright, we're going to apply a couple simple changes to the sound. First, let's go and left click on the saw in oscillator 1. Oscillator 2 will also do a saw. In oscillator 3, we'll go down here to the saw tooth. The next thing we'll do is go over here to our course and drag it all the way down to negative 24 semitones for oscillator 2 and make sure it's on oscillator 3. Let's hear what that sounds like by hitting Q on our keyboard. Perfect. Now let's go up to our step sequencer, left click if it's not already showing. Scroll up to pattern 2 and it should be a blank slate. Next right click on the 3x OSC instrument and go to the piano roll by simply left clicking piano roll. Now that we're in the piano roll, let's zoom out just a bit by hovering over the bar at the top and dragging it to the right. Now we can add the notes. We'll go ahead and click play. Alright, the next thing we need to do is add this to the track playlist. So let's left click on that and left click in track one. The final thing we need to do is make these two communicate because if you leave it as is, it sounds okay, but it doesn't give you that very trancey, heavy bassy feel. And I'll play that right now so you can see what I'm talking about. So what the side chain effect will do is essentially remove the sound whenever the kick comes in. So it'll blend it in and out only when the kick comes in basically. So let's first go into our pattern one. So scroll down, we're here to our kick. Let's make sure that uh, we assign this to a channel that, and let's open up the master mixer here. So we're on channel one and that was by default what FL Studio assigned to me. If you added your own kick, which you probably will, make sure that you assign it to a different channel that's not already being used by another instrument. So for now we're in FX channel 1, right here is where it is highlighted in insert 1. We need to go to our 3x OSC instrument, left click on that, left click on the drop down menu, and go to assign free mixer track, left click on that. You'll see it put it in insert 5, that's because the other instruments that FL Studio loaded by default took up the other 4 channels. So kick is 1, 2, 3, 4, this is now on channel 5, and you see it right up in here. So what we need to do is go over to insert one which is our kick this four beats right here and while it's selected go down to where you see this up arrow and a finger will come out under the 3x osc channel remember to keep the insert one selected which is our kick right click on that and go to side chain to this track simply left click now you'll notice nothing really changes what we need to do is add a limiter to the channel 3x OSC. Left click on that, make sure it's selected, and go to the drop down menu, go to select and fruity limiter. Left click that to add it to our channel. Now that we have our fruity limiter open, switch it to comp. With comp selected, make sure you drag this up to one. So the side chain effect will have one effect on it right now. Now let's adjust this a little bit because it still won't sound any different. Take the threshold down almost as far as we'll go to about, I usually do somewhere around 39.4 
and you can see up here where that is being affected. The next thing I do is take the ratio, left click, drag it up to about 4.7 to 1. There we go. Keep the attack all the way down and the release time you can kind of adjust and now it's going to start affecting it when we click play. While you're listening to it, it's kind of nice to adjust how fast or slow you want it to release. And the easiest way is to just go ahead and click play and show you how this does affect it. So slow release means there will not be much coming back in. A faster release. And that's pretty much it. You can fiddle with this and see what, uh, what sound effect you're trying to go for. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you learned something. All right, guys. Bye.